when I was a teenager there was a thing in the UK that was a pretty big deal, car boot sales. I always remember reading loads of great stories of people buying Macy's from there and like all kinds of bizarre stuff that you shouldn't really be able to get. But I'm going to take £5 and let's see what cool retro stuff I can get from that car boot sale. Let's go! Here I am now just walking around uh, Hanley car boot sale. Like I say, I haven't been a car boot sale for quite a while, just uh, coming a good once over of the area to see what my eagle David Dickinson eye is going to pick up. There's a Saint novel by Leslie Charteris. One might get some of the new ones, even the one for the uh, Val Kilmer film, Blake Seven there. Uh, all the uh, crew of Blake Seven die, uh, spoiler alert. What the hell's five odd? Conan the Avenger. It's supposed to be a new Conan film coming out. Isn't it? I thought these were VHSs from way back there. Oh. Nine to five there, Dolly Parton. Some people say she's just a big pet. There's uh, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. That must have been the pop stars that have turned into movie stars section. Remember kids, don't pirate films, especially Disney films, or she goes straight to hell. Yeah, some good titles on this stall, and there's proving your point there. Canon Films presents Michael Dudikoff as the American Ninja. Oh. This is Claws. This is Angela Lansbury. Toby, you've a classic there. But, uh, somebody was saying on Twitter about uh, doing a uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Day. Can you remember which one of the twins is which? <laughs> Some classic singles there. Uh, Nick Kershaw, The Riddle. There's a tree by all. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Glen Campbell. Cliff. Has anybody ever heard that Abba song there under attack? I honestly couldn't hum or whistle that Abba song. Spider Man BMX there. Might just be a little bit too small for me. That's Green Man is here. <laughs> Leave in the comments uh, who you think that reminds me of. <laughs> Backpuss. Oh, you used to live in a second hand shop and come alive with those woodpeckers. So I found here yeah, 8 track. Suddenly you've been getting into these, these really technological how they work, how they can switch tracks and things like that. It's really cool. That's actually not bad. I wonder what this is. I know you did a video about this before, but they've got all your CB aerials in. Looks like we've got ourselves a car, boy. Look at this guy's CB aerial. He got him sitting there bound up, he's good. Ah, this is for all the YouTubers here, Dyer. Can you handle it? It's all cars from like Brazil or something. It's like TCM 74. <laughs> no secret. It's the meat. Uh, don't skip on the meat. Uh. I think I might uh, have a death burger in a bit. I, I got a real good eye for prime meat. It runs in the family. Mm. I wonder if £4.50 will get me this crap TV. Hope so. <laughs> Just noticed this place, unfortunately it's closed today, so uh, I can't get me uh, Black Widow Spider King uh, or other dangerous creature come back tomorrow. There's a highly seeking the goons. Was he in the goons? Kids from Frame, high fidelity, high, high. Why didn't buy this record? I don't know. Maybe it'll be there next week. 
Gate full cover there. Where's my little nephew when you need him? Flying Scots. How much you have, way, mate? Some, uh, sounds of the uh, there, the ambiance of the marking. Go there. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. No, not for thermos last night. Let's have a look what I got. This was um, I got a book to the Avengers movie. Uh, for our American uh, viewers out there and uh, other people not from the UK, uh, it was a UK TV show uh, called The Avengers, nothing to do with uh, The Avengers. We have it called Avengers Assemble in this country. But I don't know, I've gone cross-eyed. Uh, that's kind of cool. I've got uh, a Roger Moore film called Fire, Ice and Dynamite, featuring uh, over a hundred thrilling stunts. That was uh, 50p. The book was a pound. Uh, my sister will be well chuffed about this because she doesn't understand my obsession with Jeff Love. I've got another Jeff Love album, Christmas with Love. Interesting, uh, one of these kids have got there. As before, these presents look dangerously not like uh, Xboxes, so the kids can be well good. <laughs> this little uh, um, uh, Jeff Love vision there, just uh, watching over everybody as he does, which sounds bad. Uh, don't judge me, I've got uh, Gloria by Laura Branigan of Flashdance, calling Gloria, Gloria. And this is coming to Stoke-on-Trent, a musical version, so it uh, would be interesting uh, just to see if we can find one of the posters to show you. Wait up, that's my buzz, wait up. Our buzzes used to be yellow and red and called PMC, hilariously. We've got uh, one here, this is the trailer guy from uh, that Seinfeld trailer, we won't chuff with this. Roll Cop! Yeah, it's pretty awesome, another book I'll never read, apparently, based on an MGM film, so I'm Robert Taylor and Janet Lee. And uh, I, these these two things were on two different stalls, but I thought I'd have to get them. It's uh, The Professionals, Dead Reckoning on DVD, and, like that one cool enough, We've got the novelisation to Dead Reckoning. Nothing to do with the uh, Romero film, but uh, yeah, look at this. Uh, this is a book I probably will actually read, and uh, oh, the bag's escaping. <laughs> and then, what happens? Look at that. We've got a rocket launcher. I can't believe we live in a world where there's only one professional. Oh, make myself feel bad. Thumbs down. <laughs> Famous uh, local author here, <laughs> a statue of him obviously, uh, named Arnold Bennett. Probably most famous for writing the card, and uh, that was adapted into a really great film starring uh, Alec Guinness. It's filmed just down the road in Stoke, or primarily. And uh, talk about actually just down the road, there's a town called Bradwell, about two, two and a half miles away from here, and loads of the streets are named after characters and places from the card. Uh, but speaking about novels, there's an interesting pile of books here. He's uh, coming to do me karate training here, but the sensei always kept his about no mercy and stuff like that. It was terrible. But uh, I did pretty good until I got to the All Valley Karate Championships, and the kid I was fighting gave me an illegal kick to the face and cheated and won. But oh well, it was good while it lasted. I keep it locked.